Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, the UK summer technically starts in like, I think two days time. And if you've been in the UK, like if you live in the UK, you'll know we've, oh sorry, there's a fly buzzing around and it's really annoying me. Sorry if you can hear that. I literally don't know how I can get that out. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna ignore it. Um, yeah, if you've been living in the UK, you know that we've had like a heat wave the last few weeks. I've been wanting to do this wardrobe transformation for the longest time. I actually did one for spring and I said in that video I will be doing one for summer. And I definitely need to because I've got all my jumpers still, all my winter boots, like everything like that. And where it's been warm recently, I've been obviously been reaching for like dresses. And like, I've been wearing the same dress like on rotation most days, I'm not going to lie. Um, just because I don't... There's so many things in my room to distract me right now. I need to just focus on the camera. Um, but yeah, because I don't know where all my summer clothes are. Well, I do. They're under my bed, but I need to get them out um, and have them like neatly in front of me so I can just easily grab a dress or a play suit or a skirt, just something for the warm weather. So yeah, I feel like I've just been wanting to do this video for a while. Please excuse my outfit. It's a Monday morning. Well, it's Monday lunchtime. I work from home, so I don't wear any glamorous clothes. Um, and yeah. Just excuse the hair, excuse everything, all right? This is just gonna be a productive video. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour of my wardrobe first. Please excuse the mess. This is what we're focusing on today, all right? It's really bad. And can I just say, this isn't just my wardrobe, it's also Dan's as well. So yeah, so this is what you see when you walk in. It's like in my bedroom, but it's kind of like, it's a walk-in wardrobe, but it's not got like a door or anything like that. Um, and yeah, it's not looking great. It's not looking great. Um, yeah, listen, that is all clean clothes. I just haven't been bothered to put away yet. And then ugh, it just gets progressively worse. Like, oh, <laughs> that's side down there is Dan's and then most of these drawers, literally the top drawers, mine. you can see the fly. It just flew past the camera. Oh my god, there it is. Get out of my room, mate. Like, just get out. Literally didn't invite you here. Um, why a fly is the most annoying thing in the world. Sorry if you can like, sorry if that's annoying you. But yeah, that top drawer is mine. Obviously, <laughs> all the shoes are mine. And then these bottom drawers are Dan's. So yeah, I'm going to first of all start by just literally clearing my space. Because I feel like you need to have a clear workspace to work. And then I'll time lapse you for that. And then we'll actually like sort out changing all this to summer stuff. Okay, I know it still doesn't look great, but at least that's everything up off the floor. At the moment, I'm having to stuff all my blazers and coats down there because we did have like two little coat hooks, um, but they fell down. So I need to actually get some proper ones and then put them back up. But I'm basically going to start with this side because this is pretty much all wintry stuff. As you can see, it's pretty much all jumpers. And what I'm thinking is if I obviously get rid of all of them, put them under my bed, and I might have this area for like shorts and skirts and then like some tops that don't like fit in my drawer because that second drawer is my top drawer and it is literally overflowing so I'm thinking I could probably hang some of them up um especially like the crop tops that are kind of like just straps and then that can be short skirts and straps <laughs> straps and um tops because that's what I have the least of and then this top side is mine at the moment it's joggers and jeans and a few skirts so what I'm going to do with that is have that pretty much all dresses and play suits maybe a couple of jeans like those pink jeans are still quite summery and then that side is dan's and i'm just not i'm not touching his side all right he can do his own side the lighting in here isn't great but that is the plan that is what i'm going to do and then behind where you are sitting is um basically all my shoes and i'm going to get rid of all the like chunky trainers all of the boots and everything like that and have it all just my sandals and flip-flops laid out so literally this whole place is just completely ready for the hot summer and then yeah i'm basically going to time lapse you but i also need to show you how many summer clothes i've got to put in because there's too much so everything on my bed is like summery stuff like shorts and dresses i don't actually have many dresses mainly shorts and tops and stuff that's all the stuff that's got to go in i also do have some stuff under my bed that i've got to sort out and put that on there but for now this is what we're working with we're going to swap this with this so let's go Okay, this is what it's looking like. So I've kept one shirt and then these blazers in there and then just these little tops because although they're knitted, 
they are still like fairly warm yeah like i was saying um i had to get a snack because honestly like if you could see my face right now in fact i'm gonna show you because i'm literally sweating i'm sorry i look awful because it's honestly a job and a half like let me oh this is the pile of jumpers it's not focusing there you go like i don't think i actually can comprehend how many jumpers i had in that wardrobe like when i look at it like two massive piles there i don't see how that fit in that gap there like it's actually crazy how much you can fit in wardrobes when you squish it in um and i honestly don't know how that's all going to fit under my bed somehow um <laughs> you can keep seeing the fly is really getting on my nerves now but i just don't have the energy to try and catch it um but yeah i'm now gonna start filling this up with all this stuff which is really exciting i feel like this is the best part of the job is like actually looking what you actually have Okay, so I'm now putting like crop tops because they're the things that I would wear with these shorts. These are all like the Zara Racinec, um tops. If you know, you know they're like the three ninety nine, four ninety four ninety nine ones. I have way too many of them and then these are the rest of the crop tops i'm gonna put up there because i feel like in my head that just makes sense like they're the tops i'm gonna reach for with these shorts and skirts also i'm literally panting for breath because i don't know why i picked the hottest day of the year to do this on you know when you you know when you like start doing a massive job and then you get like halfway through and you just instantly regret it that is the feeling i have right now and like i know i've got to finish this to be able to sleep tonight because it's literally like all on my bed um and i don't even have much longer left of my lunch break so this is definitely gonna have to go into after work which is really annoying because i literally just want this to be over already like i don't even think you can tell how much i'm sweating it's crazy but gotta do it So this is the other section of my wardrobe and that is all dresses and play suits and then literally just a couple of pairs of jeans like just in case and also they're quite summery colours. So I now need to fill this with the rest of this here which is mainly dresses and play suits I think. Um, and then I, this is what I'm talking about like I've somehow got to fit this and it goes all the way down there under my bed like I actually don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to put some of it on vintage because I just don't have the space um, which is really annoying but there's just no possible way like one person could wear all of them jumpers in the winter anyway so I think that's fine and then pretty much done obviously i've got to do the shoes which i'm going to do i might put some of the shoes down here as well like my go-to ones um because i've got a lot of space now which i didn't have before because obviously the jumpers really came down and these ones aren't so i'm really happy about that and now my top drawer like literally I've got loads of room in now because i've hung up all these crop tops which is nice i know it's a bit annoying how like the length changes but for me that just makes sense in my head um and it just looks so like more like minimalistic which i love because it's just chaos i mean when you step out here it's chaos but in here it's not which is lovely <laughs> Okay, so I think that's actually the last of my dresses. I don't actually have that many dresses compared to, like, how many jumpers I have. Um, so, yeah, that's all done. I just need to put the rest of this stuff away, which I think is mainly, like, cupboard stuff. Like, it's all clean, like, underwear and just <laughs> general cupboard stuff. And then I'm going to sort out the shoes, make these drawers a little bit nicer, put all these hangers away, and then attempt to somehow store that somewhere. <laughs> Okay, I'm now going to sort through the shoes. I mean, as you can see, it is mainly sandals anyway. Like, there's only actually a few pairs of boots. Um, but I don't really know where I'm going to store the boots. I'm not going to lie. What I might do is just have one row for boots and then take some of the sandals that I wear a lot and put them hit down here. Um, because, yeah, I don't really know what else to do with that space. I feel like it makes sense to have it um, with sandals on that I use, like, every day. Like, there's literally these ones i love these ones i wear all the time and to be fair a lot of them i wear a lot now it's warmer so i could do that and then this will let, look less crowded okay i've now sorted out that and put all my flip-flops at the back as you can see i literally have so many pairs of flip-flops 
so yeah i don't know if that looks a bit strange or not hopefully it stays that neat and then here it's not looking like miles better but i've basically got this one here of like winter shoes and then the rest are all like trainers and sandals and that one i'm not gonna lie to you i can't reach up there so that's gonna have to stay like that for a while um so yeah i feel like it's just looking a lot less like chaotic which i love and then the drawers can actually shut which is so nice and then now i've got to tackle this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sort through it um probably not in this video because it would literally take me ages and i'm gonna pop lots of it on vintage so i will leave my vintage in the description box so that if you want anything you can check it out i have loads of stuff on there as well it won't just be these jumpers um i've also got a couple more bits that just didn't fit me that i've bought recently to go on vintage i'm literally so out of breath <laughs> I, honestly i don't even know how i'm gonna tackle that and literally can't get into bed without it i might just have to fold it up and like no, because I can't even put it in there. Because if I fold it up and like stack it up there, it will just block all of that. So I literally do need to somehow put that under my bed. And I genuinely don't think it's going to fit. So love that for me. I'm also going to just show you like my favourites on Vinted right now. Because obviously, like I said, I'm going to be selling all those. Well, not all of those, but loads of those jumpers on Vinted. And I think what I'm going to do is buy myself some new dresses. Because like I said, like here, I mean, you can kind of see like I from about there to there is dresses like i only literally have a few um and when it's this kind of weather oh, i hate this lighting in my wardrobe when it's this kind of weather like dresses is like the perfect outfit like it just takes no effort so i think i'm just going to show you like how i use vintage like how i scroll through it i'll show you my page quickly as well in case anyone's interested and i'll show you all the things that are in like my wish list and then what i'll do is if i do buy anything i'll do it as a separate haul because i've all, i have bought some stuff this week already from vintage so i might just do like a big like summer refresh vintage haul as well as like my next video or like in a couple of videos if i do find some and then it'll kind of be like a little addition to this video so yeah let me show you how i use vintage okay i'm just bouncing it on my leg for now so this is my vintage page in case anyone doesn't want to look in the description box um i'm selling like just loads of beauty items at the moment to be fair but also quite a few clothing items to be honest i just sell like random things like literally some tissues that i did ordered too late for my sister's baby shower um that's on there some shoes bags like literally anything bikinis um yeah so go check that out but also i'm going to show you in my favorite so i on vintage i always look in the oh clicking on it's really hard to click and make sure i'm filming right this is the recommended for you section which is where i find most of my stuff because what vintage does is obviously recognizes like what you kind of search for and then it like compiles it all together so usually i find most of the stuff i buy on this like yeah it's just got like a mixture and it's all, obviously all my size pretty much like 14 12 medium kind of sizes because it obviously recognizes that and then here are my current favorites so these is this is basically like a wish list of stuff that i think i'm gonna buy i think i'm gonna buy this it's a play suit from primark and it's got tags on and everything so you can see it's originally 13 pounds and she's got it on there for two pounds so i think i'm probably gonna buy that because that would be like a really simple outfit i really like i don't know how well you can see because obviously it's on a phone but i really like all these things as well um this is really cool it's like a skirt but it's like a like jogger short material that's really cool and then oh, i mean i do not need more sandals look at that but yeah loads of disney stuff as well because it's just so much cheaper i love this outfit for paris but it's sold the shorts sold really annoying but yeah I'm just gonna oh, look at these Disney ears as well. Obsessed with that. Yeah, you can literally get anything on Vinted and I'll show you how I search. So sometimes I'll just click on these, like this is a pretty little thing in the style um, or all, all these brands. Like these are sort of the brands that it sort of recognizes that I click on a lot. Um, but what I quite often do is see like this one, for example, I search dress and then I'll like refine the size. So I'll put a 12 and a 14 and then press oh, show results and then i usually select the condition as new with tags new without tags sometimes i select very good as well but it's up to you obviously what you prefer sorry i'm trying to, it's really hurt my hand holding this and then yeah it'll just find all of them so you can also then like specify all these like the brand the color sometimes i'll put the brands in as well like i'll just put like it will recommended like these are the ones i use most of the time um yeah just all of them and then show results and then we'll just come up with some and you can also refine the price as well which is really good 
so yeah i will oh my look at the state of my hair is actually so bad so yeah if i do buy things on vintage i will definitely do a separate haul because i feel like now i've organized it all i just want to like really bad i just want to like flip back up again <laughs> i really don't need to but i definitely do need a few new dresses so yeah i will definitely film a haul of that and yeah go check out my vintage if you're interested in anything but yeah that is me sorting out my summer wardrobe hopefully it's not a really short video i feel like it will be though but that's the best i can do in this heat obviously you still saw a bit of a transition and now everything is looking a lot less chaotic which honestly i'm so glad i need to go and sit down and make myself some lunch and actually cool down because look at the sweat like it's actually not okay but yeah definitely check out my vintage and if you did enjoy this video then please leave a like also that was so awkward i was literally filming at my window and then the builder just walked past and i was just like hi <laughs> that was so awkward so awkward okay bye thanks for watching